And now, your forecast from the Fox 55 Severe Weather Center. Well, you probably noticed that today's temperatures were a lot warmer than yesterday's temperatures. We got up to 81 for that high, and that's where we're supposed to be for this time of year. We saw plenty of sunshine today as well, and that was all good news. But we're going to see cloud cover increase tomorrow afternoon. Live satellite radar loop throughout the afternoon. You're seeing some scattering gray around the radar site. That's just false return. No precipitation reaching the ground out there near North Webster. We're going to remain dry throughout the rest of the evening. 60 by the time you wake up in the morning. Just be cautious. Some patchy fog in the area, so you want to use some caution if you're heading out on the road tomorrow morning. Give yourself a few extra minutes of drive time. And then the high for tomorrow, 84. This will be a muggy feeling, 84. However, winds will be gusty at times, so we will get some relief from the wind. Now, once again, here's the severe weather threat for Tuesday night into Wednesday. I think the storms are going to go from about 8 p.m., which is pretty much to the northwest of Fort Wayne, and they're going to slowly progress through our area until about 2 a.m., exiting off to the southeast of Fort Wayne in this green area. Threats primarily... Strong damaging wind, large hail, isolated flooding. Future track, you're seeing rain showers at around 8 p.m. That's that line of storms moving through tomorrow night. It's going to last for a couple of hours. Another line moves through around the midnight hour. You notice that orange color indicating some stronger rain showers and thunderstorms. And then that precipitation gets kicked out of our area. You notice by about 5, 6 a.m., we're nice and clear on Wednesday morning, and a few clouds will return in the afternoon, but we'll still see plenty of sunshine, but you will notice a drastic temperature change once that cold front moves through our area, providing us with cooler, drier air. You can see that in our seven-day forecast. 84 for that high on Tuesday, like I mentioned, and then we drop down to 74 on Wednesday, and basically we hang out in the low to mid-70s all the way until next weekend. You notice, though, there are some small rain chances Friday, Saturday, and then a little bit better rain chances on Sunday and Monday. We'll keep tracking these rain chances as they get closer to us. That's all for your forecast this evening. If you want more weather information after the show, go to our website, WFFT.com.